Hello and welcome back to my project where I am attempting to fix the bad paint job on this old Jeep Cherokee. I'm back for part two. If you saw the first part, I unwrapped this fender. It used to be blue and it still looks pretty good. And now going to be doing the hood. You see this clear coat. I've peeled this back many times and it just keeps coming back worse and worse. All right, so the first thing I've got, to, I've got to do, mask up all around it because I'm going to be sanding it and I don't want to scuff up the paint on the outside or this vinyl wrap that I put on previously. Um, another reason that I'm going to be sanding this, you may not have to sand it if you have a good quality paint job. Of course, this one is crappy, um, but I have a scrap piece of tape here. And so you can see if I put it down on this spot here where we've got peeling clear coat and I peel it up like you do many times, right? You apply, pull back, apply, pull back, and get it positioned just right. So if I were to pull this up, you see that all, all that clear coat came up with it. And now it's, it's ruined. It won't stick in that spot. So. All right, the surrounding panels are all taped. It's time to start sanding. Nice to get rid of this clear coat. Crap. Clear coat's peeling up, so I'm gonna try and fix it. Yeah. So I just finished cleaning the surface really good with soapy water, dried it off really good. Um, I'm preparing for an early morning wrap job. I want to wrap it early in the morning before it gets too hot in the day. The vinyl can be really hard to work with when it's hot. It can actually start activating some of the glue on the vinyl, which makes it hard to work with and possibly even it could mess up the job, right? Um, so what I'm doing tonight is I cleaned it off really good soapy water and I'm about to apply this rust reformer, rust only and rust reformer on any bare metal spots that may have shown through from the sanding. Uh, I just want to give it the best chance I can at, at preventing any rust from forming underneath the vinyl. Alright, it's finally time to apply the vinyl wrap to this hood. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to reapply masking tape around here because I will be cutting and I don't want to cut this vinyl wrap and I don't want to scratch any of the paint around the hood. I'm going to clean it off really good with some rubbing alcohol that will be the final clean before I actually apply the vinyl and then we'll, we'll get that vinyl on there and, and hopefully it turns out great. So I have a, I did have a few questions on the first video if you haven't seen that you can check that at the link um, on this video. So I did have some questions on that video about where I got this vinyl, how much it cost, and so on. So this vinyl, I actually ordered it on Amazon. Um, the name of the company is Vivid Vinyl, or Vivid Wraps. And uh, they actually do have a website. That's where I went and I looked for colors on their website. There it is right here, so you can see this. See right there, Vivid. Vivid Vinyl Wraps. I looked on their website, found the color I wanted, and then I actually went to Amazon and purchased this roll. This roll, I believe, was 5 by, I want to say like 10, something like that, 5 by 12. Um, and it cost me like $70. This could be wrong. Uh, I will post a link 
in the description of the actual purchase so you can see the price but I'm just trying to go off memory right now so alright let's lay out this vinyl measure the piece we need and then we'll get it stuck down so I've actually got some magnets here to hold it in place for me just an extra pair of hands really right and I've wrapped them in that masking tape so I'm not scratching the vinyl and so Basically, I've laid it out with the backing still on to the spots I want it, and then I can cut off any extra here with my razor. One thing to pay attention to is the shape of your hood. So these, um, you don't want to make the mistake of maybe measuring it too short because then you're just going to have to start over. Uh, and so if you notice, here, I'll show you on the minivan here, it's a little bit more extreme, but it has this curve right you don't want to measure from here down because you'll miss these corners and so you want to pull your vinyl up past the corners it's gonna be a straight line across there and then that down to the bottom same thing if you have a curve on the bottom here you want to make sure you go all the way down so you get every piece any slack that you have left over is fine you can just cut that slack off and just make sure you get the entire surface covered. Okay, I do want to point out before I get started here that I am by no means a professional at this. This is my second time wrapping. The first time was this fender, right? And so I'm, I'm kind of just figuring this out as I go, right? And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to peel off half of the backing on one side of it, and I'm going to try and lay down a smooth, flat section, at least one section of it really flat, and then I can work out from there. Uh, I want to start in the middle and work out. So you can see I position my magnets here on this side to keep the vinyl in its place. And I'm going to come to this side. I'm going to start peeling this backing off. I'm going to, I don't know if this is the correct method, but I'm going to leave the backing on one half of it while I work this other half out. And then I'll move to the other side. If you don't press it too hard, it actually is really easy to pull back up. So I'm going to try and... Alright. And this stuff is actually pretty workable. Throughout this whole process, you will be applying and removing the vinyl many times. So there we go. That's going to be my flat section right there. And I'm going to work this way and try and lay out these bubbles nice and flat. Like when I start to see like some harsh bubbles starting to form like this right here, you can actually just pull back up, try and work it out again. So I'll show you something that I uh, I had pop up here on the hood. So if you can see, if I can get the right angle with the light, there's a crease right here that's kind of like formed into the vinyl. Probably it was folded or something, and maybe it made a crease. So some, something you can do here. So you can actually pull it back up to that crease. I don't know if you can still see it, but I'm going to add some heat. We don't need and see that crease disappear. And then we can lay it back out without that crease in.
So what I'm trying to do right now is to try and work it into this hood detail right here. Um, this is a little tricky. I'm just trying to keep the vinyl as loose as possible up to that point so there's not any extra strain as I'm trying to get it down in that groove. Some of the challenges here are that this Jeep has got a four inch lift on it and, a, and 33 inch tires. I am 6'4", but I'm trying to stretch across this hood on a tall Jeep. It's a little trickier. I'm actually applying some pretty solid pressure here into these little indent corners trying to make sure it's sticking good and then when I heat it up the final glue will be activated also helping it rest in its final spot there tall Jeep gotta do what you gotta do So I actually find that these pieces are a little easier to do with your hand rather than squeegee. Just get it tucked into these fine corners here. And then all of this slack will be trimmed off. Grab the details, you can see the shape of the hood right here. So I'll just trim it off flush with that. I'm actually probably heat it up before I trim it. And that's a wrap. Anyways, so I think it turned out pretty good actually. Uh, not professional by any means, like I've said. Uh, there are a few things that I would, if I did this another time around, I probably would have done differently. So <clears throat> some things that I did learn were that, that preparation beforehand absolutely gives you better results after the fact. So, so I ended up sanding all of the clear coat off. I was going to just sand some of the spots, which uh, I'm glad I did sand all of the clear coat. It probably would have been worse if I didn't. I sanded all of the clear coat off. Um, but one thing I do wish I did do is go back over that sanding with a very fine sandpaper because um, the vinyl does not hide defects. It actually is quite the opposite. It actually will show them really well. Let me go get the camera down here and show you. I don't know if you can see that or not. I can actually see marks from the sandpaper. It's not terrible, but it's not perfectly smooth. If you want it perfectly smooth, finish the sanding with, with a very fine grit sandpaper. Make sure it is all very smooth. Again, let's see something else. Make sure that you do not forget to clean around the insides of these grooves it's easy to forget but very important because that's where the 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 end of the vinyl is right that's the end seal of the vinyl and and that's it so thank you for watching make sure and keep an eye on the channel for the remainder of this series where i'm going to eventually have this whole jeep vinyl wrapped um I'm next i may do the roof next that or the trunk the trunk is actually peeling pretty bad too so Oops. Looks good though, no more peeling clear coat.